welcome to quick learning let's start another video in which we are explaining the different aspects of operational excellence and the different terminologies currently the topic that we are going through is lean six sigma and the process sigma levels let's uh, re have a recap on an example that we were going through last time here in a one liter bottle we have seven different defects opportunities we produced 3,20,000 bottles in a duration of 8 hours and uh, we sold all. We received some consumer complaints from this production batch. 7 low bricks, 10 low carbonation, 6 defective label, 5 high cap and 4 low fill. So we have to calculate what is the opportunity count, TOP, total defect opportunity what is the defect per unit what is the defect per opportunity and what is the defect per million opportunity and at the end how is the process performing and what is the process sigma level so we have to calculate these things so we will see each example one by one so total opportunity count is 3 lakh 20 thousand into 7 2.24 million that means in these number of bottles we can have these seven defects that could be present so but currently defects per unit is the number of defects that is uh, 17 plus 23 and 32 that is 32 defects out of 3 lakh 20 thousand units and the defect per unit is 0.001 and what is the defect per opportunity defect per opportunity is 32 divided by 2.24 million that is 0. Uh, tetra 014 at the end what is the defect per million opportunity that is equal to multiplication of dpo by 1 million that comes at 14 so these are the numbers that we have calculated at the end how is the process performing and what is the process sigma level for that what we will do is we will have a look at this graph and from this graph we will know what is the process sigma level and how is that process is performing so our defects per million opportunities is 14 so in this graph you can see that the third table defects per million opportunity we have the process sigma level on the left side so our uh, defects per million opportunities is 14 that is between 10 and 20 so our process is between 5.76 and 5.61 sigma and the yield of the process is between 99.997 and 99.998 so you can see that our process is between these two levels and this is the process sigma level now we are going to learn how to measure the process capability we have two this kpi is in this the cp upper uh, specification limit and the lsl lower specification limit cp is uh, is calculated by subtracting upper specifications limit by lower specification limit and dividing it by 6 s 6 standard deviations this cpk is the minimum of these two numbers and these two numbers are calculated as upper specification limit minus the mean divided by 3 standard deviation or the mean of the process minus lower, lower specification limit and that is divided by three standard deviations which of these two numbers is lower that is our CPK so in this way we find CP and CPK here are some of the guidelines for the evaluation of the process if CPK is greater than equal to 1.33 then our process is capable if RCPK is between 1 and 1.33 then it's marginally marginally capable and if if our system is less than 1 then our system is not capable 
in this way we evaluate our process and the systems from the cpk value for any question you can just write in the comments tab until next time take care